Today is a brew day, which means I'm in charge and also the only one here, which means I get to do whatever I want. So, like every six-year-old, I have decided to make my own breakfast. I am having a mug of coffee, a mug of bitter bee, root beer for breakfast, and a martini glass full of popcorn. Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead making, mead drinking, mead brewing, and really any question you're willing to send to me. A few weeks ago, we did an episode about how we brew, and we sort of lied to you. We made it look like brewing was brewing, but brewing is not brewing. Brewing is easy. Making mead is 90% janitorial work. It is set up, and it is clean up. And today, we're going to show you this thrilling part of the process. Our day begins by checking the temperature of each drum of honey. Oh, it looks like someone forgot to plug this in yesterday. Who could that have been? Ricky? Well, that just sucks. The rest of this video is going to be done at three times speed. You see that mix tank back there? You see that fermenter? That's where we need to get. You see the pile of junk in front of it? Yup. All of it has to move and it will have to move more than once. Whoa, that's a tight space, Ricky. How are you gonna do- What? Did you just run out? All right. I'll give you a 8.2. Two more to go. Wow, that's an awful lot of cans. Where's Eric? Why isn't Eric here? Those are Eric's cans, right? Now it's time to extricate the forklift. Wait a minute. Isn't that something you just moved? That's right. Ricky took a pallet and put it right in front of where he was going to need to be next. It's like that game of traffic jam you play when you're a child. Now watch this. Cool. Calm. Focused. And... Backwards? That's... That's not the direction the forklift needs to be. Eh, we'll fix it in the wash. Just get it out of the way so you can get more things out of the way. Isn't brewing a blast? Now, cleaning begins. Where's that ladder? Oh yeah, behind the forklift and past a... What is that? Why is there a dryer at the meadery? There shouldn't be a dryer at the meadery. Alright, it looks a little obscene, but sanitization is extremely important. We're gonna need a bunch of hoses today. We're also going to need some gaskets. But unfortunately, Ricky put everything away, which means no two things are in the same place. Well, he's found the second hose. What about those gaskets? I think I saw... There they are. All right, up we go. Close the lid. Where are your safety glasses, young man? Please don't tell Vosha. This is the first of five bowls of ramen today. All right, the mix tank is all clean and sanitized. It's time to start mopping. Everyone knows that Ricky loves to mop. This is truly the best part of any brew day. I'm going to be honest, I don't even know how the forklift got back over there. Well, let's see if we can get it going the right direction this time. Oh, careful, Ricky. Those are Eric's cans. He's away. Did I mention Eric is not here? Eric should be here. The very last thing we do before we brew is we put on our barrel lifter. Let's get one more thing out of the way. Hoist that little guy up. And brew day commences. Now I'm going to send it back to Ricky with our word of the week. Ricky? Wait a minute, why am I doing word of the week? I don't do word of the week, he does word of the week. All right. This week's word of the week is in infant botulism. Honey contains Clostridium botulinum, which is why you're not allowed to let babies eat honey. You should only give them mead. What? I told you, I don't do this. Infant botulism. It's our word of the week. 
and the end of our show. I can't wait for other Ricky to get back here. Until then, keep sending your questions, and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Cheers.